So this is my little version 27 of my solar setup. It's based on there's eight 330 amp hour deep cycle batteries. Um, they're in serious parallel, so four banks of um, four, which gives me 24 volts each. Which runs up to me little inverter, yeah, which runs my workshop. It's, um, hasn't let me down. There's a lot of bad reviews about the power tech, but it seems to be quite well, done quite well. Um, can't say the same for that. That's the second repair to get that running. Um, but for the money, it seems to be all right. There's um, five um, what, 190 watt panels on the roof, and they're 36 volt panels. Um, so just under a kilowatt of panels on there. It runs all right. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's putting in. It's creating 480 watts of electricity, which is all right, I guess. Um, there's also a switch there um, that changes it from that just grid tying um, back into the batteries so I can I choose one or two. One is charging the batteries, two is grid tie. They don't need to charge the batteries at the moment, they're alright, they're still 25.4 volts. I've been using them all morning without charging them. So yeah that works alright. A little, a little, little red and black cables there at the outside. Go down to a little USB port and that just powers a little fan there that just Puts away, so yeah, it's not so bad. We've also got that there, which runs directly from the batteries uh, to the grid tie inverter, so I can actually run the grid tie inverter off the batteries. They say not to do it, but hell, it seems to work all right for me, and it hasn't. Well, I don't think it's directly caused any problems. So yeah, but yeah, that's my little system. So it's small, but it seems to be quite effective. Wait until we have the power outage and see how well it runs. Cheers. Thank you.